So you really need to understand what are your risk markers. All of us are born with a genetic predisposition for certain things to happen. Is that uh, I know when each of my grandchildren was born, I, I would look at them and say, you know, they're inside this little baby is a genetic code that is going to predict a lot of things. It's already been predetermined in a lot of ways. Are they going to get diabetes? Are they going to get certain diseases? Um, what's going to happen? Um, could they get mental illness? Could they have epilepsy? So that it's interesting. We, we look at these fresh little babies, but we don't realize that a lot of things have been predetermined. A lot of risk factors, though, we can control ourselves. So we're going to kind of divide this into what do I have control over, what don't I have control over. So as the things you don't have control over, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't worry about if you can't do anything about it. Well, I can't do much about the fact that I'm getting older. Um, there is an alternative, but I don't like the alternative. So after the age of 55, the chances of having a risk having the chances of having a stroke, should I say, doubles. Can't do anything about it. Men are more likely to have stroke than women, although over time, women are joining our club because women are doing many of the same things that we do, joining the workforce, the stresses, you know, smoking in equal numbers, uh, so that we see that this gap between men and women for many diseases is narrowing, although still about 20% more for men to have a stroke. Strokes much more common, and particularly stroke death, is much more common amongst African Americans, and part of that is genetic predisposition, and part of that is access to health care. I live in San Antonio, Texas, and we have a large Hispanic population where stroke is much more common, and particularly diabetes. So we see diabetes and hypertension and stroke at a higher rate than elsewhere because people from a Hispanic heritage have a genetic predisposition to those diseases. We're going to focus on then what can we do something about? What can we do to prevent or keep from having a stroke? There's something called the metabolic syndrome that's just not good for you and you just need three of these and it puts you at a much higher risk for vascular disease meaning heart disease or stroke. Abdominal obesity um, carrying a big belly or big weight is associated with significant risk for heart disease and stroke. Um, I live in Texas, so all the time, you know, I'm walking behind a cowboy, looks like he's pretty skinny from the back, and then he turns around and you see that he's got this huge belly overhanging a belt. I have some friends that I'll ask, what's your waist size? And they'll tell me 34, and I'll say, you know, say, in your dreams, because that's hanging way down low with a belly hanging over it. So abdominal obesity is a bad marker and a bad risk factor and part of the metabolic syndrome. 